Welcome to part one of Knockout vs H&N. The reason I'm shooting this one in two parts, there will actually be more, is the fact that I'm going to shoot this one without the pin probe. And then on part two, I'm going to chase the speed a little bit up. I'm going to add the pin probe and then we'll see where it goes from there. All right, no comparison would be complete without the JSB knockout slugs. Also in 5.5, in 25.4 grain. Let's see how they stack up against the h &Ns. Okay, power setting one. really have to go and measure that. That's too close to call. Let's see. The 216 JSB knockouts and 25.4 grain performed admirably. Probably not the best grouping I've ever shot with this but then I also know that they don't love my superior line as much as they used to love the old slug liner. Let's have a go at the H&Ns and see what happens. H&N 20.22, 25 grain, 217s, power setting 1 to max. Let's see what they can do. Sometimes shooting is just pure, pure joy. Look at those groupings through all six speeds under 10 millimeter across the board. Wow, wow, wow. I'm giving you the actual slug size on the screen as well, as well as JSB 18 grainers, just to give you an indication of how excellent this grouping actually is. The H&Ns won this round, barely, with milli millimeters to spare. But if I look at the speed out of the barrel, they also came out of the barrel a lot hotter than the JSB knockouts. I don't know if it's just the 0.4 grain weight difference that made such a big difference in speed. I'll have to check when I put the pin probe in and see what the speed limits is at that stage and also check what the groupings are going to be. Watch out for the next video guys. I'm almost on it.